What's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from wearetesters.com. Got a brand new hoop crate in. I can't remember what this month's theme is, so we're just gonna have to open this up and find out together. I also stopped by my local Foot Locker House of Hoops and they had the new Venomenons. This is the Kobe Venomenon 5. And so after I'm done with the hoop crate, I will check these out with you guys up close and personal, let you guys know what I think. So here we go. Lockdown. That's what it was. Man, I could not remember for the life of me. Alrighty, so we got a brand new, got a brand new wristband. This one actually says court vision. And it has the May in the year, or the May in the year. The month in the year, which was May of 2015. Air Jordan 11, Ray Allen Championships. Uh, this, what was this one from? This was from when he was with Miami. A shoe that will never come out, but it's cool that they made a keychain out of it. Yo, what is this? It's a Michael Jordan, it's a Michael Jordan card by itself. Plus the NBA stickers, which I'm gonna open because I love these things. This is legit though. He's wearing a pair of white and infrareds. That's dope. I'm gonna stick this somewhere. Maybe I'll stick this with the infrareds right, right there for right now. Keep it safe. What is this? Cleveland lace clips? Come on, guys. Got a, smells funny. Got a big ass rubber band. Cause uh, you know, cause I need one. What is this for? <laughs> There's no instructions. Oh, it's a lateral band, it's for your legs, duh. First thing I was thinking of doing though, was when you grab the, the rubber band like this, and then how do you do it? Oh, you need to do it with like a regular size, I'm not a giant, but you know when you grab the rubber band and you smack it like this on somebody's legs? Ah! And we also got a new t-shirt. This one's cool. Oh shoot. It says Lockdown, this is a Clutch Co. and Hoop Crate exclusive collaboration. On the right sleeve, you got the Hoop Crate logo. On the left sleeve, the Clutch. Uh, Co logo. That's slick, man. Very cool. And then we have the stickers. Super excited. Let's see what we got. Here, usually, usually I look at them first and then I show you guys, but we'll do this straight up together. Oh, look at that. Draymond Green. I was just thinking about him right before I pressed record and I was literally shaking my head being like, this dude just like made us Dub Nation people look so stupid at that parade. Hey, Tyson. Hey, yup. Splash Brothers. Yup. Cavaliers. Nope. We won. Yup. They suck. Yup. We here. Yeah, they not, no. But, oh my gosh, man. I mean, it was funny, but not funny all at the same time. You know what I'm saying? There's just some things that you just don't say. And winning a championship ring literally said it all. And this dude kind of took it too far. But with that being said, on to the next one. Got an Atlanta Hawks there. Who is that? I can't even see it. Tim Hardaway Jr. Oh, snap. I like Tim Hardaway Sr. much more because that dude was a beast. Former Dub Nation. Bang, bang. Tell Webster. I am not going to try to say that name that's too much Patrick Patterson oh snap look at that look at that how did this pack know that I am dub nation how did it know all right guys that takes care of this month's hoop crate hashtag lockdown that was the whole theme well, not the hashtag but just the lockdown part my favorite hoop crate still is last month's that one was the best I still have yet to tattoo my balls mostly because I'm planning to buy a couple of new ones and I'm gonna tattoo those but with that being said let's look at these sneakers all right so for those of you guys that do not know this is the phenomenon 5 it is Kobe Bryant's specific outdoor model usually they release these overseas but since the phenomenon 4 they've released them both overseas and within the US and these guys here just from trying them on they felt like they're gonna be a much better shoe starting off with the outsole I know it's kind of hard to see but there is the pattern it's uh, it's flat it's multi-directional you can see some herringbone here some whatever that is and I just think that these are gonna be solid man um, I like the the lower tier models this year a lot more than I do the actual flagship models they just feel a lot better and they save you on money which I think is weird and then you can obviously see the zoom air unit here in the forefoot nothing's changed between this and last year's model except for in the heel they've added cushion there this was not featured in the phenomenon 4 and then all of that's within this file on midsole which you could see and then the translucent rubber outsole wraps up you got this heel counter reminds me of the Kyrie it's plastic, it's hard plastic, and this is broken up right here to showcase the phylon that wraps up inside. Got a fuse rand right there on the toe for some durability because the materials here are super soft. It's a screen mesh, just like the Hyper Rev 2015. And then underneath it, it's all like make regular mesh, like open mesh. Kind of reminds me of engineered mesh a little bit. It might be engineered mesh actually. And then you got dynamic fly wire in the forefoot. It reminds me of the Kobe 8 Elite. And that is pretty much it. Really nice open airy tongue. If you hoop outdoors, this shoe is for you. I will be playing in these and I will be giving them a perform- 
I will be playing in these as well as giving them a performance review. That's pretty much it. If you wanted a hoop crate, link is going to be in the description box below. And I would put a link in the description box below for these, but there isn't one, so I won't got to get out off your butt and actually go to the store to grab these ones. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. And until next time, guys, have a good one.